After an initial jump of nearly 3%, investors took a closer look at Facebook's earnings, and the stock has reversed course. It's now down 4.5%. They did miss on revenues, and daily and monthly active users were a little lighter than expected. In an effort to reattract young adults to the platform, the company is making a $10 billion bet on the metaverse and said it will report those numbers in a separate segment starting next quarter. The information now estimates the metaverse in its entirety could be worth as much as $82 billion in the next four years. Joining me now to discuss is Roger Dickerman. He's the CEO of digital art firm Artifacts, which runs an NFT Hall of Fame in the metaverse. <laughs> All right, Roger, welcome. A lot of our viewers are going to want to know, what is an, a Hall of Fame in the metaverse? So Hall of Fame has to do with digital art, and digital art is the newest medium of art, and it really comes to life in the metaverse with both framing concepts within the metaverse and then over my shoulder over here, a framing concept like this on our very walls. So let's talk about the metaverse. You know, there's a lot mm -hmm. of different companies who want their reality or their world to be the one that most people are in. Who's leading that? Which ones exist right now? And where are people already making money? You're going to smile, Kelly. How about NFTs and blockchain technology? They're, they're proving out these concepts before our eyes. We see another couple billion dollar a month in the art market. But beyond that, let's go to games. Let's go to play to earn blockchain gaming, Axie Infinity. Speaking of daily active users, over a million daily active users a day. It's an $8 billion company. Go to places like that. Go to artists again. I'll point over my shoulder here. The artist that rhymes with Duck Render, he has a fantastic metaverse concept. He's building out uh, his most recent project, which uh, involves crystals like these, grossed over $30 million. That's one single artist. Yeah, I mean, it is beautiful behind you. I can see the, the hand holding the crystal. It's moving. It's shimmering. So if I own something like this in the metaverse, whose metaverse mm -hmm. is that? And where is Facebook uh, in all of this? This is the most fascinating question, right? This is a land grab right now. We have smaller metaverse companies uh, trying to pave their way, like Decentraland, for example, is a nice call out there. Right. But now you have the behemoths like Facebook. They see an opportunity. They see the writing on the wall. They see these billions of dollars. They see a way to own these digital assets in the form of NFTs. Now it's their turn. So you're going to see Facebook step into the center along with other behemoths like uh, Epic Games, which mm -hmm. raised a billion dollars for their metaverse concept. Now it's time for them to duke it out. But do people like you, when you hear the Facebook news, kind of laugh and go, OK, yeah, you know, the boomer Facebook company is going to get in on this. I don't think so. Or do you go, hey, absolutely, they're going to come in and be able to invest more and make it better than anybody else's? Well, that's the thing. I mean, they're so well positioned. We can laugh at this or that or the other. But at the end of the day, they have Oculus, right? They have a VR technology that is ready and probably more advanced than so many other competitors. So, yes. There are other more agile, digitally native companies right now doing the metaverse thing, but never scoff at a Facebook coming into the market. I guess my final question is, has the world, uh, the sort of a lot of this digital technology, whether it's um, literally the blockchain, uh, Bitcoin, even in the world with Netflix and then Tesla, has it proven that there's a real advantage to being a first mover? Um, and when should we actually expect Facebook's investments to bear out and be something tangible that we can all experience? There is an advantage to being a first mover, but in the case, again, of a company as large and well capitalized as Facebook, a second mover can do just fine as well. Um, and Kelly, what was your second question? Remind me. Yeah. When is it something we can all actually experience, you know, and, and how are we going to do that? Is this primarily accessed as a video game with a headset? Does it have anything to do with my mobile phone? So that's the question. This is actually going to move off of mobile, right? It's going to be mobile. Internet was the, the last great revolution. Now we're about to step in further than that. So mobile web, yes, but VR headsets, ultimately, um, we're going to have to see. This is a long game play. I think people hear Facebook make this announcement and think, oh, how about 2022? I mean, this is a 5, 10, 15 year play to see this come to absolute fruition. Well, they're probably happy we're talking about this and not, you know, the metrics for the quarter and what's happening with the ad platform and their latest whistleblower. So that's something. Roger, thanks so much for joining me today.